Hi, this is Mike at Big Mike's Performance Parts, the inventor of the Stow and Show detachable front license plate mounting system. And today we'll be demonstrating how easy it is to install your bracket on a 2013 5.0 Mustang. Here's what's going to come in your box. You're going to get your detachable front license plate, the mounting hardware, and your instructions. Then what you're going to need to install this is a drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit, a pressure wrench or a 7 16 wrench, an Allen wrench, an 8 millimeter socket, a 7 millimeter socket ratchet, and of course is optional your front license plate and the frame. Okay, to start this installation we're going to remove the two center screws right below the front spoiler here. This also can be done very easy on the ground but for being able to show you what we're doing we've got the car up on the rack. So again, these two screws are a 7 millimeter head. You're going to remove those screws, you're going to put them off to the side, and then you're going to put the bracket up there using the screw supply. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and install the bracket. You're going to put the screw to the front of the bracket, tubes facing forward and down, spacer, half inch, line up in a hole, start it, and you're going to repeat with the, same, the other side. Okay, now you're going to do the same, the same on the other side, spacer, and tighten, and then you're going to snug it down with the 7 millimeters. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and now that we have the front of the bracket installed, we're going to drill the small one inch pilot hole for the back screw. Simply put the drill up to the center of the back hole, drill it through, and pull it out. And of course, always remember to wear your safety gear. Okay, now that we have the front ones installed, we've got our pilot hole drill. We're going to go ahead and put our 5.6 millimeter screw in there. This has a 8 millimeter head. Just place it in a ratchet. Line up in a hole. I usually just use it either hand tight or I just run it down until it's nice and flush. Line up flush. Put it back in there. And that's it. Remember, you're drilling in the plastic. This thing will hold just fine, but if you over time it, you can strip out the hole and it won't hold. Okay, now that we've got the base installed, we can go ahead and install the front plate. Simply slide it until it hit the pin. Pull the pin pin back. Slide it until it locks in place. And there you go. And then the next thing, of course, is to put your front license plate and frame on. Okay, the last step is verifying that your plate sits level. Sometimes either through shipping or just in installing the car and just regularly to the plate will sit top to your low left and low right. To correct that, simply remove the bracket, pull it out by a good two, three inches. If it's low on the right, then just simply rotate it back left a little bit. Recheck it, and of course if it's low left, simply rotate it to the right. Uh, once you set it, it'll actually stay in place just fine, but again, sometimes it does take an initial adjustment. Okay, and here you go. You've completed the installation. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove it when you're ready to show your car. Simply reach underneath there, pull the pin, slide it out. You can simply stow this. Now you're ready to show your car, and you can see there's no bracket. There's nothing to interfere with the looks. When you're ready to go, you simply bring it back, line up in holes, pull the pin, slide it until it clicks, and there you go. Okay, and I want to thank Cypress Coast Ford and Seaside California for giving us access to this awesome shop and the use of the 2013 Mustang 5.0. Thank you.